Good morning. It is February the 27th, 7.30. A little chilly, but not too bad. And here I am in my uh, 98 Camry, which I just rolled over 195,000 miles. And it's running good. I got over 30 miles to the gallon. Uh, that last tank of fuel I put in there, and that's city and highway driving combined. So, hey, that works for me. I like it kind of something cool I thought I'd show you guys here I got a uh, I got a dash cam for my car but it's not a permanent mount that stays in the car and it didn't cost me three four hundred bucks to get a high-definition one either instead I just downloaded this app for my iPhone it is called uh, witness or they, they call it eyewitness um, basically it's a dash cam app it works exactly like a dash cam I think it's like 99 cents or a buck 99, one of the two. And then I got that little uh, windshield mount there. So all in all, I've got about, I <laughs> I paid more than I should have for that thing. I paid 35 bucks for that. It should have been cheaper. So I got about close to $40 in all this, which isn't too bad. Uh, this one, I highly recommend this one. This is a Rocketfish brand one. The reason I like this is because it has a charger built into it plugs into the cigarette lighter here and then this little USB cable plugs into the unit itself and keeps the phone charging which you will need if you use this because this goes through a lot of battery juice keeping this charged in fact it goes through so much that even while it's on the charger the battery life slowly decreases I think it goes through about 1% every 10 minutes so let's say you go on an hour drive and even with it on the charger and this on you'll lose about 10% but it's not too bad, but still, that just goes to show you how much uh, battery this or battery power this uses. So the way this works, I like to go through the settings and set this up versus you can set how many video minutes and segment, uh, excuse me, and segments it takes. In this case, I have it set on uh, video length to be six minutes and take ten segments. So that's an hour of video that I have there. So basically. What it'll do is it'll delete the oldest segment and replace it with a new one after I get 60 minutes of video. You can choose low, medium, or high quality and then go into high definition if you like. Uh, the only trouble with high definition is it uses up a lot of videos, uh, uh, excuse me, of hard, <laughs> hard drive. These don't even have a hard drive. It uses up a lot of memory, let's put it that way. A lot of the solid state uh, memory on the iPhone but uh, the quality is superb even on high it's very smooth and you can easily tell what's going on you can change the display speed to kilometers per hour miles per hour it also has a map that'll display and you can you can even set it to automatically display once you hit a certain speed like highway speeds or so um, it's got auto crash detection, which basically, if, you know, if it detects that you get in a crash, if the G force, uh, G forces hit a certain amount, it'll uh, automatically pop this menu up. What to do? Stay calm. You know, yeah, da, da, da. stuff everybody should know. You can adjust that right here. So if you take this on your bike or something, or on a motorcycle, and it's automatically triggering the crash detection too much, you can adjust it. Uh, auto record feature which I don't use I like to be able to start and stop it uh, with adjusting a few settings first basically what this function down here is is audio capture if you turn it off you can make uh, phone calls uh, play music on your iPod or your iPhone with this uh, with this application running taking video if you turn it on though it's going to use a microphone to capture any audio that is heard such as your engine you okay I won't go any further than that so basically there's all the settings there this little crash icon here is you know accident advice you can take photos write down witness information that might be kinda useful actually keep all your personal information there uh, here's some videos that I've taken they, you know, the only problem is they might have some music on it from the radio, but I'll try to get one that doesn't have much. That one's got a little bit. Yeah, I think these have got music. Yep. Uh, let me just play one, though, and I'm going to turn the volume down so that way I don't violate copyright terms of the music holders, uh, music, whatever. 
So basically, there's a uh, night time as I was driving. Up there, you can see the date, time, my speed, G-forces, latitude, longitude, and heading. And this is high quality. This is in high definition, and it's still remarkably clear. So you can see I can run my finger along the slider there. Search through the video. You can uh, also adjust the. Uh, I can adjust the speed of the video here. Pause it, replay, and then eject. Basically, takes you back to the recordings menu. So let's try it out. All you do is hit the big red button there. Put it up in your little case. Oops. Provided that you don't use a little. Uh, I've. Don't lose a little iPhone 4 bracket. Come on. There we go. This could have been designed a little bit better. It's the only thing I don't like about it. But otherwise, it works pretty good. Come on. Slide that back in. There we go. Okay. So now we're charging. Oh, as long as I don't turn it off here. There we go. Dang it! Did it again. Okay. Alright. So here's the save. Uh, save. Man, I am not doing so well today. Here's the save video file button. If a crash were to occur or something cool occurred on the road, you can hit this button here. And that'll save the last six minutes taken. Here's the camera button. You can take a photo right there. Power button basically turns the camera feature on and off. And uh, by swiping up and down, you can increase and decrease the brightness for nighttime use. Or if the iPhone starts to get hot, turning the LCD or uh, the screen brightness down will... Uh, help save a little battery life and help the iPhone to run cooler. Once I start recording here, hit the red button. You'll see the little timer up there. That'll count up to six minutes and then start over. My speed is displayed right here. I got a compass up here. And I can also hit this little uh, button here to show a map instead. So it's kind of nice because you can use it as a GPS. I mean, it. They don't have a feature yet to give you directions and such, but I mean, it acts just like Google Maps before you enter an address. It's pretty nice. Um, can hit that button there to take those options away, and then it just shows you the map. You can go back here, show the video that I'm looking at. Sometimes you'll have to tap the screen to get it to focus a little bit, like you can see there. So let's go for a little drive. And then we'll be able to play back what we've recorded. Once you've gotten to your destination safely, hopefully, all you do is hit the red button to stop recording and hit the power button to return to the main menu. If you want to play back any of your video, all you do is hit the little video menu button here. Let's go to the last recording, which would have been 7.44 a.m. right here, recording number one. Red button. You'll see the little timer up there. That'll count up to six minutes and then... Let's skip all my silly gibberish. There we go. Able to play back what we've recorded. So there's the date, time, latitude, longitude, speed, G forces, and the whole video right there. But this little windshield mount is a must. I love this thing. And it's really steady too. So once you've gotten to your destination safely, hopefully, all you do is
just hit the red button. To... There we go. Nice app. I was about to spend three, four hundred ducks for d ducks. Woo! Wake up. I am not doing good. Still early for me, at least. But uh, I was about to spend three or four hundred bucks for a, a regular dash cam, and then I found this app. It's pretty cool. Anyway, something neat to check out.